Hey guys, Barfy Game Back today, bringing you a video for our Blueprint Weapon Series, and today we're going to be covering the bundle called Gator Done. And this bundle was released in shop, I believe, earlier this week or the end of last week for 1,500 COD points. And the two weapons you get from this, you can see here on screen, are going to be the Man Eater for the FFAR or the FAMAS, as well as the Scaled Snapper for the KSP 45, heavily based off of really the, U the UMP 45. However, it is really a fictional weapon, but you get those two weapons with pretty decent attachments and skins. You get the Gatorhead Charm, the Swamp Hunter Calling Card, the Scaled Smile Emblem, and the Mutation Sticker for 1,500 COD points. Available in the Black Ops Cold War store or the Warzone store there for Call of Duty. So we'll go ahead and back out now. You'll see one of our final versions here for the Man Eater, and then also we'll take a look at the Scaled Snapper 2. We're going to strip these down, build them from base, and take a look at how they handle in-game against bots as well as the recoil pattern. So let me go ahead and we'll strip these down. We'll start with the FAMAS. So you can see, first off, the base weapon, very similar, uh, really no, I'll, we'll compare it to the base weapon with the same attachments, but you can see really you're just getting the, the gator type camouflage on this weapon. It's really the only cosmetic change. We have some different coloring of the, uh, what looks like the tape on the end of the handguard there before the barrel. But let's go ahead and build this to how it is when you purchase it, and I'll show you some different builds that I would recommend too. So the optic, what it comes with is the Cobra, which is that Russian red dot sight with a 1.75 magnification. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Pretty clear sight picture. I've actually really enjoyed this optic in Cold War. I'm glad they put um, a more realistic Cobra with that with that mount on the front of it there um, to help eliminate uh, glint and things like that from the from the optic. The Viper, as we know it in Modern Warfare, very similar. However, it doesn't have that attachment at the end of the scope there. I don't recall what it's what it's named off the top of my head, but again, really nice to see that in game next off we'll go with a muzzle so we're going to put on a regular suppressor here going to help us out with the muzzle flash concealment by 100 percent obviously the cons are the effective damage range and the bullet velocity go ahead and put that on you can see the camouflage for the blueprint uh goes with that suppressor barrel will skip as well as the body and then the under barrel of this weapon comes with the patrol grip so you can see you retain the blueprint skin there for the camouflage of the uh the gator done and that's gonna increase our sprint movement speed by 6%, so we'll go ahead and select that. Magazine, we're gonna leave at base with this blueprint is how it comes. And then for the grip, we're gonna do the drop shot grip. This is gonna increase our, or I guess reduce our flinch resistance by 50%, as well as uh, aim while going prone is now allowed with this, with this particular wrap. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And then for the stock option, we're gonna go with the marathon stock. It's gonna increase our sprint to fire time by 10%. So you can see how that looks just puts that extra little bit of a butt pad on the end there. Not too much of a cosmetic change from what it looks like at base. So it's very similar to how it comes at base. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that is our final design for the Man Eater blueprint for the FFAR or the FAMAS weapon here in Black Ops Cold War. Now, some minor adjustments you can make since the reason I'm covering this bundle in general is just because the FAMAS is really becoming one of the more popular weapons in Warzone right now. So. If you didn't have the, the, this weapon unlocked with attachment, this is definitely a good place to start. You already have a really good optic. You have a suppressor at least, not the suppressor you want. You obviously would want an agency suppressor on this weapon to for the stats you get for Warzone versus Cold War. It's going to be um, the same as the monolithic suppressor, so you would want that. You would definitely want the bruiser foregrip right now just because that's the only one in Warzone that actually helps control the recoil on this. And then you probably want to go with the magazine, probably the 544 round fast mag or in warzone it's actually 50 rounds so you would want to go with that but really you have a very viable famas here to use in warzone just by purchasing this bundle so really good weapon here um let's go ahead now and we'll build the scaled snapper so we'll go ahead first off and we will strip this down so we have the ksp 45 at base here again this is really inspired uh by the ump 45 this is a three round burst submachine gun it's not a real weapon from what I can tell. Um, I think they just took liberties with this design and kind of modeled it after the UMP-45 in, in a lot of aspects as well as some other weapons. But again, firing that same same round that the UMP-45 fires in, aesthetically, or I guess cosmetically, it looks pretty similar for what you would expect maybe an early 1980s version or concept to look like. So for the optic, we're going to go ahead and do the Diamondback Reflex Sight. So again, this is really another... Uh, Russian optic looks uh, very similar to an early version of maybe the OKP optic. So this is going to be a 1.37 times magnification on this. Go ahead and select that. Then the muzzle again coming with just a standard suppressor versus the agency suppressor. So we're going to put on the sound suppressor. The same pros and cons there. The muzzle flash concealment and the effective damage range is going to be reduced by 15%. Leave the base barrel 
as well as the body and underbarrel. The magazine, we're going to go with the 45 round Stedag mag. Now, obviously, this is a box magazine. It's not a real Stedag mag. So um, they named that incorrectly. But again, this is going to increase our magazine ammo capacity, max starter ammo, and our ammo capacity overall. The cons are going to be 10% reduction to the reload quickness and 50% reduction to the ADS speed. So we'll select that. And then for the handle, we're going to go with the airborne elastic wrap. This is going to increase our aim down sight speed by 30% increase our flinch resistance by 90% and allow us to aim while going prone. The cons are 10% reduction to, to shooting movement speed as well as 50% reduction to sprint to fire time. So we'll select that. And now you can see you only have four attachments here. The recoil on this isn't really bad, but I guess for Cold War, you may want to just throw on a uh, field agent grip just to really help eliminate that. If you're going to spam fire, it depends on the ranges. Um, I would recommend that probably. However, in the gameplay, you're not going to see me use it. You're going to see me use it just how I use here for the blooper. I haven't used this in Warzone. I haven't seen a lot of people use it in Warzone, but I, I hear it's actually pretty effective. So again, you have a very viable KSP 45 right here. Maybe just plus or minus some attachments that you would want to swap out. But if you don't have the weapon unlocked with anything, this is a really good place to start if you're trying to use some of these weapons in Warzone right now. Because the meta is pretty wide open. There's definitely a lot of variety right now in Warzone, which is good. So these are the two weapons, the Man Eater and the Scaled Snapper. Now, how do they compare to the base weapons? If we look at here, we have our blueprints for both of these, and then I have them built uh, out of the same attachments on the base weapons themselves, just not using any blueprints. You can see the difference there between them both. We have the FAMAS as well as the KSP. It's really just go going to be, if I switch back and forth here, it's just going to be really a uh, camouflage change to the weapon. The uh, cosmetic changes mainly are to the wraps on the pistol grips as well as some of the wraps you see mainly for the FAMAS on the handguard there is also changing color but other than that it's really just a color schema change and camouflage overall there's no real major cosmetic changes to these weapons um, that I can tell so again just a uh, camouflage change and color schema to some of the attachments like the pistol grips and some of the wraps we see on the handguard for the FAMAS but those are our bundles here available in shop. So we'll go ahead and jump into the gameplay here. Again, this is the Gator Dunn Blueprint Bundle available in shop for 1,500 COD points. So I, I definitely would recommend these uh, this bundle specifically if you're trying to utilize these weapons in Warzone. Like I said, the, the FAMAS right now mainly seems to be gaining a lot of popularity. So that's really why I would recommend this if you're trying to use it. I haven't really used it too much, but when I do, I don't have the attachments unlocked. So like I said, this is a really good spot to start. I have a very viable... FAMAS right now and I actually have probably I think this is one of the ground loot items in Warzone right now So I've definitely unlocked some things for it that I haven't known that I don't know I did yet So when I go to pick this up, I'll be able to utilize uh, some of those attachments already. So that's pretty good again This is a good place to start You'll see here in Cold War. However, the recoil kicks high Or pretty hard high enough to the to the right So it's actually very difficult to control the recoil here in Cold War granted We don't have the best foregrip on here, but again the recoil is pretty out of control here in Cold War, which is which is pretty funny considering in Warzone the recoil seems to be greatly reduced compared to what it is here in Cold War. So the recoil much easier to manage even on the base ground loop FAMAS than it is here in Cold War, which is pretty interesting. Um, so again, you'll have a very very viable FAMAS if you try to use this in Warzone, which is nice. Um, now the scaled snapper, very accurate three round burst. You, it's really hard to be an in inaccurate with a three round burst weapon unless you're really tap firing too fast now granted this is a submachine gun firing 45 acp so um the damage is still going to be there however you're not going to get the extreme ranges that you would expect with like the uh the cold war aug or the m16 obviously however for these type of situations that we're using here on nuketown it's actually very very effective it's about a two to a three round burst depending on where i'm hitting my shots you obviously want to hit center mash Set a mass to headshots, and those are going to kill your opponents quicker. So let me know down below what you guys think of this bundle overall. I felt like I wanted to cover this just because, like I said, the meta is really seeming to not shift towards the FAMAS. I think the meta is still really wide open, but the FAMAS seems to be gaining a lot of popularity right now. It is, uh, I would say, pretty easy to use in Warzone just at base. So I'm pretty interested to see when I do pick this up in Warzone how it is with these attachments I have here, and I'll swap out some things. High rate of fire. Um... Pretty, pretty good damage as well. So if you can control that recoil, it's very deadly. However, you'll see here as I'm using it in Cold War, I'm actually having quite a hard time controlling the recoil on this weapon. It's really hard to control in Cold War, um, which is just odd considering the ground loot in Warzone is very, very easy to control. But um, you'll see me miss a lot of shots with this. So you really probably want the the uh, the better foregrip options on there just because this one really isn't helping to mitigate any of the recoil as much. But 
Let me know down below what you guys think of this. What are your favorite builds for the FAMAS as well as the KSP for a Cold War multiplayer as well as Warzone? Because I do want to pick up mainly the FAMAS and Warzone eventually here and give it a try. It is gaining a lot of popularity. However, I don't really see as many people using it as it seems like I'm seeing other players and YouTubers use it. So um, I haven't really gotten killed by it too much. Um, and I've seen it be taken out a lot of FAMAS players just with some of the weapons I'm using. So, pretty interesting. I know the TTK for this in Warzone is pretty good, but we'll cover that when I do the actual Warzone video for this weapon and how we kit it out there. But like I said, very good weapon. If you don't have any, any of these weapons unlocked, or at least you don't have the attachments, if you're like me and you just have the weapons unlocked and you haven't really used them at all in Cold War, um, this is a good place to start if you're trying to unlock attachments and pick it up right away and it's going to be pretty viable for you to use in multiplayer as well as in Warzone. So, let me know down below what you guys think. What kind of weapons are you looking forward to here for Season 2? I know a lot of those weapons have been leaked. I won't uh, discuss them here in this video, but pretty interesting selection. At least we know, I believe, of two of them, as well as um, some rumored additional ones that will be coming later on in the season for Season 2. Also up in the air is the question as to whether or not we're going to be getting those Modern Warfare, additional Modern Warfare weapons, I should say, that we know have been coming for a while, that being the Scorpion Evo, the new pistol as well as the uh the macro pistol as well as the new machine gun the sig 338 norma machine gun which again that's a it's a pretty big heavy machine gun it's a bigger round than the 762 by 51 so those three weapons we know are coming we know the soap bundle is coming as well um it's just a matter of when and we haven't really heard anything about them those weapons have been leaked for months now you can actually unlock the macro and the scorpion evo in uh in game and use them in modern warfare multiplayer right now which is crazy that they haven't fixed that yet um so we all know they're there people have them fully unlocked uh the only thing i really haven't seen gameplay of yet is the machine gun for the most part so pretty interested to see when these weapons drop because i'm really looking forward mainly to the machine gun itself that 6338 normal machine gun should be a lot of fun to use i'm really curious how that's gonna hit uh, specifically in Warzone, because like I said, that's a very big round. Um, it should be one of the better machine guns if you can control the recoil, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm a little disappointed with how the M91 or the MG5 performs, so hopefully this one uh, will perform much better. So I'll leave you guys with that. Let me know down below what you guys think of this bundle and these weapons overall. Till next time, this is Buffer Gaming with the Gator Done Blueprint Bundle. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.